Good morning, y'all. <laughs> um, needed to use both hands for this, so I'm using a little little tripod today, cause we have some big stuff, big, 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 big stuff coming to you. So went to um, Bricks and Mini Things. It's a store off of 106 South, and just about 13th West. There in South Jordan. Anyway, so got some fun things here that plays into the uh, the advent calendar that I've been uh, opening this past month. So it's uh it's gonna be great. I'm super excited. So uh, kind of an unboxing, a little bit, but more of an unbagging. <laughs> um, the first thing that's gonna be super important is this little guy. Um, there's about five little trees in here, which is going to play into this. Um, the second thing, which is going to be super important for our build today, this guy. Just a green base plate. It's uh, 32 studs long and 32 studs wide. And if you do the math, it's a square. So that's going to be super helpful. But the biggest thing inside this bag that plays into the advent calendar is... I, I'm just... Ripped. It's a toy store. I mean, there's three in one, but we're going to ignore those two. Because, I mean, there's a little, little cafe, which is cute. And then... A flower shop which is also adorable but we're focusing on the toys because we got a crap ton of little toys in the advent calendar so look at this guy you can see the little 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 little, little tree and the little soldier and the gunball machine and the little kid playing on the airplane probably said can't find the corn spot let me know if you get the reference <laughs> Anyway, so this is what we're going to build today, because, uh, Merry Christmas to me, y'all, and Merry Christmas to you, because you're going to participate in this. Um, so, let's dive right into it. Okay, folks, let's start off by just opening. Oh, let me go get my knife. BRB. Our little Kalashnikov. If you want to see more of my knife collection, let me know. Because uh, I used to work at Blade Ops. Also a super small shop. You should go check them out. But um, let's start opening this. Um, let's just... Safety first. Okay. Our base plate. And as the name suggests... It's going to be our base for today. Um, let's open up the little tree, guys. Wow. <laughs> um, super great. And they just plop right on. It fits on a 2x2 two two stud space. And they're little pine trees. Look at that. But we'll take them off for now. We'll save that for later. But let's do a little unboxing. I don't know how many of you have opened up a Lego set before, but they have these little thumb tabs, which are kind of helpful, but not. Um, they're still kind of fun to, to poke. So, poke, and then poke, and it just pops right out. Man, I wish my cereal box was that easy. Oh, jeez. Oh, So let's see, we have quite a few. Oh, look at the size of that. That's a novel. Um, we'll set that aside for now. So we have a couple other extra base plates. That's going to be super helpful to put on top of here. Let's get rid of some of this trash. So we have 
couple different bags. Bag one, bag one, bag two, and bag three. So we're going for the toy store. If you see here, there's the different instructions, all starting on different pages. Um, so yeah, we're going to start on page five. So let's start. Oh, um, let's do a little, little time lapse. How does that sound? Um, what, what's cut into a time lapse? Alrighty, folks. So, um, it seems I've reached an impasse. Um, I can't find this piece right here. This little guy. Um, so I'll be back in a moment when I can find it. Um, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, that didn't take too long. It's in the other one bag. And there it is, the little, little guy. So let's uh, open this up see what we got um before i do that this is what we got so far you can see the intricate brick laying because these are lego brick so you want to make sure that the pieces don't uh well that they're overlapping so they don't easily fall apart anyway um back to the the time lapse so you may have seen me trying to mess around with this get it all fixed because this guy was coming apart. Um, some people have asked, why don't you super glue it? And I'm just thinking, wasn't that the whole plot of <laughs> of the Lego movie? You know, with uh, oh Chris Pratt and Will Ferrell. You know, the craggle, the super glue, and Taco Tuesday. Anyway, um, I don't like to glue my sets. I don't know. It just seems like it's cheating almost um, when it comes to sticking things together. That's why I like, you know, the interlocking of the, the bricks. And yeah, um, let's keep going. Tef friends, um, I kind of want to do this next step together. Um, kind of real time. Just because uh, we're going to be making the little little soldier guy. Um, but first, we need to make this lamp. And so, let's get that out of the way. Don't mind me. I'm just vibing to my lo-fi music right now. Super great. Um, Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Adventure Time, all that fun stuff. Okay. Um, let's dive in. So, I need a little black piece. And then, where's the cone? The cone of Dunshire. Oh, right. Let me get this guy. Hopefully you, you all can, can well see it. Um, then we got the arms going. Oh, he's going to be holding a flag. That's super cool. Um... This yellow piece. Oh, I'm gonna have so many extra pieces. Um, it's not even funny. You saw how many extra pieces I had from the advent calendar. So, yo, look at that. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell the colors with these guys. Like, it looks orange in the book, but it's gold. Anyway, um, there we have it. Our little, uh, our little soldier holding the flag. All right, let's get that on right here. Oh, this is so much fun. I love this. Oh, and the bubble gun. 
machine. Um, okay, this one's a little tricky, but we'll get it. So like that, and then you get this guy. Oh, we just put all the little bubble gums in. Yo, because we have an extra. Should we change it up? Yeah, let's not do all pink. Let's get some other colors in. So we'll do the pink, the yellow, and let me go grab an extra piece. Um, I found a little, little green guy. We'll spruce it up. We'll go off the script a little bit. I'm doing this on my knees right now. After working out, uh, it's kind of tough. All right, so there we have it, folks. Um, that's what we got so far. Um, oh, I kind of want to... Let's speed run through the next parts. Um, let's go. Okay, so... Um, this is kind of where we're at right now. There's just a couple other things. Um, other little toys and inside things. And then we're getting close, folks. We are getting very, very close to uh, finishing the bottom layer. Um, so let's keep going. So we're done with the bottom layer and it's coming along really well. Um, one person we forgot to uh, put together is the shopkeep. And I need your help. Um, if you want to give some name suggestions for this kind lady, that would be great. Because uh, she needs a name. So anyway, let's dive into part two. Well, actually, before we do... Um, <laughs> Look at all these extra pieces. Look, look at them. I can make so many more toys with all the extra pieces that I've... Oh, there we go. Um, so many extra little pieces. Let's clear these out of the way. And start into... Back two. Alrighty, folks. That was... Uh, whew. That was about 17 minutes worth of building, but uh, for you, it would probably be about 30 seconds or so. Um, <laughs> but no, it looks super good, and we are getting ready for bag number three. So I'm going to set this guy over by our other one, and we'll do the grand finale as soon as we get done. With bag three. <laughs> A little ASMR for you. The little Lego bricks. Anyway, that's not why you're here. We're here for more Legos. So let's get to it. Ready? The time has come. That was probably another 17 minutes or so of build time. Um, so overall, probably... Oh man, I've been here for quite some time now. Um, let's put this all together, shall we? So we have the shop. We have our, our little guy here. We need we need a name for this guy. Let's put on the second floor. Yo, that comes together so nicely. Look at that. And then our little top. And there we have it. I love this so much. This is great. I don't like this is one of my first buildings, actually. So thank you for, for joining me. Um, Again, need a name for, for her and for this little guy. And let's put, let's get creative here real quick. 
So I'm thinking I want the sidewalk. Well, this guy, look at this guy. It rocks back and forth. God, we need to put this guy in. <laughs> Go! He's going to space. Get it. Get it. Get it. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I want at least, I can change it up later. Um, maybe a six by six. Yeah, that should be enough for a sidewalk, right? And this guy, we'll put off to the side. Okay, let's, let's try to squish this on down. This is always the trickiest part. I don't want to just like crunch it, you know? Um, come on, Betsy. Maybe a good rule of thumb start building off the base plate first. You know, have a sure foundation. Okay. We can start to, we'll put this guy right here in the back. Um, let's go right there for the time being. Yes, still works. Okay, and then until I get a sidewalk, because I don't have a lot of extra pieces. We'll just go like this. Um, let's space it out a little bit. Um, let's go four. Yeah, four studs apart. Actually, I want that right there. Four. Four. No, I need to keep it random. Because I don't want to be like Lord Business and have everything the exact same. No crackle, nothing. Okay, folks. That is it. The end. Let me know what you thought of today. Um, building our little shop to go with all the little toys that came with the advent calendar. And... Yeah, let me know what you think if you want to see more of the buildings. I also have a few other exciting sets coming up. Don't want to spam you with too much. Um, not a, another 24 days of uh, Christmas. <laughs> but I do want to get you some, uh, some more content. So a little hint, hint right here behind me. Um, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for joining me. Uh, let me know what else you want to see. And if you like it, like it, tell your friends. Um, and thanks for the donations too. I think it'd be super cool that uh, with all of the different donations that I can uh, buy more sets to, to donate. I think that would be super cool. Um, so if you want to do that, I'd love to take the money that you, you donate and go buy sets for... Uh, for other kids that may not have <laughs> the means to have Lego. So it's it's just so much fun and I want uh, to spread some Lego cheer. So um, thank you. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and we'll see you all soon. Peace out.